Hey, it's Matt and Gadget. We're here at, uh, with Sony at CES 2013, and we've just been introduced to Sony's new flagship. This is the Xperia Z or the Xperia Z, depending on where you're from. Now, as you can probably tell, uh, it's got this lovely flat oblong design to it. Um, it's quite a beauty, actually, if a bit of a fingerprint smudge um, magnet. Um, if you turn around to the front, one of the core features here is a five inch uh, reality display. This is uh, Sony's new Mobile Bravia Engine 2. And like the Mobile Bravia Engine before it, um, you'll see it augment both uh, images and uh, video, uh, cranking up contrasts and colors. Now, the five inch screen is protected by an as yet unmentioned brand of protective glass. Um, we're not sure exactly who that is just yet, but hopefully that should be able to protect it from spare change and other pocket shrapnel. Within the phone itself, we've got a Snapdragon S4 Pro clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. It's a quad core beast. It should be more than enough to play mobile games and browse about on Chrome. If we jump into Chrome here, you'll see it's pretty responsive and it looks great on this uh, huge five inch screen. Now, the software itself is Android 4.1.2, uh, again, one of the most latest builds of it. And um, you can see it looks pretty familiar. If you've bought a Sony phone in the last few years, you'll see the very familiar uh, wave art, um, those Sony widgets. Obviously, you have a shortcut jump up here. And the drop-down menu has shortcuts for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and the like. The very important features here is the camera. As you can see here, it's just subtly uh, imprinted into the back. This is a 13 megapixel sensor, and it's capable of HDR video. Now, this is uh, Sony's new Exmor RS sensor. So not only will it do those stills, um, but it will also do video. And with that HDR mode, you'll hopefully crank up quality of the images and the video in you know, poor lighting conditions. Uh, we've had a brief try with it here. It seems to work pretty well. The flash is a bit laggy, but again, this phone isn't going to be coming until the end of Q1, so there's plenty of time for them to tweak that. Um, if we tour around the rest of the device, uh, the profile is very slim. We're under 9mm here. It's, um, it's very slender. You've got the full contacts here and a flap here for a micro SD card. If we flip around to the other side, uh, there's space here for the micro SIM, uh, a quite nicely detailed uh, power button, and the volume rocker. Uh, the whole phone is actually uh, certified for water immersion. We've uh, dunked it in the tank. It's another very nice feature and uh, quite a surprising one to see on the premium handset, especially a flagship from Sony. Anyway, this has been a very brief look at the Sony Xperia Z. Uh, this has been Matt at Engadget. <laughs>